Thank you very much for sitting down with us. You're, you're massive in Australia. Uh, <laughs> are you surprised how popular you, you are with Australian fans? It's been really strange. Like, um, it's been so sudden and, um, and it's just so nice to finally be here. And, um, and I've had such an amazing welcome. So. Is it one of those things where you get told, I mean, I assume you get sort of information about how sales are going and YouTube views and those sorts of things. Were you surprised to discover quite how much the Australian fans seem to be one of your strongest you know, fandoms? Yeah, definitely, just because yeah, it was so far away and, then, um, and yeah, and just coming here has been amazing and, um, and getting to meet people and yeah. You broke, I mean, for you it must, you know, it's, a, it's almost a lifetime ago I and mean, you broke through at 12 with the open mic competition. What's the journey been like since then? Has it just been whirlwind ever since? Yeah, it's like after I um, won the competition, I signed a publishing deal just for about a year. And then after I released Skinny Love, I signed a record deal. And, and since then, it's just been really crazy and really surreal, but so much fun. Has there been a particularly surreal moment? I mean, you know, it's one of those things for us, nearly any part of your existence at this point would, would for the average, <laughs> the average 16-year-old, be extraordinary. Has there been one moment where you've just thought, this is too surreal? Yeah, I think um, definitely when I got the chance to perform at the Paralympics opening ceremony and just being there playing was just amazing and um, I was just kind of pinching myself before and really I was so nervous. Do you get nervous performing still? Yeah, definitely. Like, but once I'm actually singing and on stage, I love it and the nerves go. So. And is it a case where now it's the bigger times you get nervous? Um, it's usually every time, and, but more so for small audiences. I think because you can like see everyone and <laughs> see their faces and yeah. And does it affect you whether you're playing your songs or covers? Um, no, I think it's actually like I feel more relaxed when it's my own music because I just I, I seem to know it better. Is that more where you see it all going doing doing your own music? Yeah, definitely. It's something I've always wanted to do, and um, and the next album's all originals, so I'm busy writing and getting ready to record it. What sort of stuff do you draw on when you're writing? What sort of inspirations and stories and um i think uh, for me it's kind of this this album and the songs i'm writing at the moment are about like just my experiences and, and about change and um and some are about love or uh, lots of different things how do you do you have a way of making sure you this all doesn't become too much are you just keeping grounded not getting too you know caught up in you know this whirlwind global phenomenon or I've got like my family and friends who are all really close and it's really nice to just like be at college as well and just have that normal life as well. It's interesting because we've got um, some 14 year olds in the X Factor this year. Do you think there's a, is it hard to be so young and trying to be so out there or is it something that you think basically 14 year olds are almost ready now just because of the YouTube generation and the Twitter? The thing. Does that help you, that experience growing up with all that? Um, yeah, I think so. I think like, when you love something enough, I think everything else kind of comes with it. And, um, and you just, you're learning along the way all the time. You've said in interviews you want to play stadium tours, and you know, you've obviously played to a stadium with the Paralympics as well. What, is it, what do you aim for now? What's the goal? Well, definitely for me, it's just getting my own music out of there, and hopefully people will like it. And it's just the thing I love the most is songwriting and playing my music. Will we see you back here again doing concerts? I mean, it's, it's great that I get to meet you, but you know, I think you've got fans who'd really like to see you sort of playing here. Will we see you soon? I hope so. I'm not sure at the moment, but I'd love to come back. If not, we'll obviously see your songs on YouTube and uh, see you on, on the television, I believe. <laughs> well, thank you very much for sitting down with us. Thank you for having me.